Hello everyone, this is Madhuri Fadia and today we are going to talk about Cisco MDS 64 gig fiber channel SAN module. How are we going to extend the life of MDS SAN directors which will increase the term of customers staying with us and which will in turn add a lot more value for our SAN storage networking portfolio. So this is the new 48 port 64 gig fiber channel module that uses dual ASIC which is new in the industry. This ASIC can control over 24 ports from the front panel. This module can coexist with the existing 16 gig and 32 gig switches, fiber channel modules and SAN extension module. This works well alongside with any directors such as MDS 9710, 9706 and 9780. This is where the selling point of MDS solution lies. That is the reusability of the old components with the new components. When we look inside the module, it uses Supervisor 4 and Fab 3 modules. No need of extra fans and PSUs needed. This is interoperable with legacy softwares such as 6.x, 7.x and 8.x. So for example, if one of the chassis is working on an older release and that is connected to this new module on the other chassis running on 9.x release, it works well without any hassle. Also, the modules inside the same chassis can operate with 16 gig, 64 gig and 32 gig fiber channel modules. It does not need extra power requirements. The power limit used is as same as 32 gig module. If you look at the component view, you have front panel ports, F64 dual ASIC running in the back of the module, connected via high speed cables, and these cables connect all of these with the CPU, memory, and power brick. How is this module better than existing F32 module? Well, we have crossbar and arbiter, which is integrated on the chip ASIC. The encryption supported currently is AES-256, which was AES-128 previously, and we have 8 levels of QoS support. Buffer credits. Currently, 64 gig module supports 49,152 buffer credits per module. That means per port, we have 16,000 buffer credits, which used to be 8,191 in 32 gig. Port mapping, all ports are at the top and even ports are at the bottom of the module. We support encryption on the ports number 9, 11, 13, 15, 25 to 31. To get the modules recognized by the chassis, we should have minimum of 9.x release, DCNM version of 11.54 and NDFC version of 12.0. Over subscription mode. When all the 48 ports get loaded with 64 gig optics, you get a whole sum of 3 dBPS of bandwidth. For 3 dBPS to be achieved, we need all the 6 FAB3 modules loaded. But if you use 32 gig optics, you don't need all the 6 FAB3 modules, but you need only 3 FAB modules. So the highlight is that the new 64 gig module doesn't always need 6 FAB modules as mandatory. With Three FAB modules, you can achieve line rate performance, and with six FAB modules, you can achieve oversubscription. Thank you.